So we are concerned that the Nigerian police, especially the Lagos State Police Command, is allowing itself to be used by a manipulator in chief, Ikechuku Ogbona, to intimidate, harass, and unlawfully arrest and detain for 12 hours an aging, bereaved mother of Bimbo and her traumatized brothers. This is unacceptable, this is unconscionable, this is reprehensible. And it makes it clear that even the Nigerian police and its personnel need training on emotional intelligence and trauma management. Because what it means is that they are subjecting the family of the deceased to what is called double jeopardy. Following the death of Bimbo Ogbona, the Sexual and Gender-Based Violence and Men Against Rape Foundation warned the Lagos State Police Command not to be used by husband Ikechuku Ogbona to intimidate and harass the deceased mother and brothers. Lemi Ugebe, the Executive Director of MAF, lamenting the detention and harassment of Bimbo's bereaved mother and her brothers during the press briefing on Monday in Abuja. The Lagos State Police Command needs to be wary and be warned against being used by Ikechuku Ogbona to intimidate and harass the family of his late wife. It was reported that Comfort Martins, the deceased mother, and her two sons were arrested and held in custody for hours after allegedly robbing Ikechuku's home of $20,000 in cash. In his speech, Ugebe said that Obuna's claim is outrageous because he immediately recorded a voice note after learning of his wife's death, explaining that he did not flee the scene of the fire incident but rather left to ask for help from his friends and associates so he could pay Bimbo's hospital bill instead. Now, how can the same Ikechuko Obuna, who ran away on that day on the basis of wanting to look for money, now wake up on the 24th of December? to go claiming that the mother, the, this, the bereaved mother of Bimbo and her bereaved brothers stole his $20,000. If he had $20,000 in the house, how come he ran away and gave us the excuse that he was going to beg for money? Now the police, if we can see through this facade, these lies, this charade, then the police is intelligent enough, well-trained enough, that within a matter of 30 minutes of inviting the family, and with the evidence presented, including the statement made by Ikechi Oko Ogbona at the Pantis police station, from where he is being charged and is to stand trial for negligence leading to the death of his wife. How can the police not see through such claims? If front at the accusations, they resulted in the truth arrest and wondered why the police allowed themselves to be utilized as a means of intimidation and harassment against the bereaved family. Ugegbe also made the point that the police conduct in this situation demonstrates the necessity for emotional intelligence training and post-traumatic stress disorder awareness. That even the Nigerian police and its personnel need training on emotional intelligence and trauma management. Because what it means is that they are subjecting the family of the deceased to what is called double jeopardy. They've lost their family member. They've lost their daughter and their sister. Now they are losing their own freedom by the intimidation and the harassment tactics being used by Ikechuku Ogbona, which is being supported by the police. He therefore called on the Inspector General of Police IGP Usman Akalibaba to Inspector General of Police to sanitize the police and to redeem his image. So we call on the IGP to please wade into this, call on the Commissioner of Police, call on the Lagos State Police Command to desist from unwarranted harassment and, as, uh, and intimidation of the family of Bimbo uh, Obona. And please allow the law to take its course. Record that the Lagos state government had ordered a coroner's inquest to ascertain the cause of death of Bimbo Obuna, who allegedly died recently due to severe fire injuries sustained during a third argument with her husband, Ikechuku Obuna. A press statement made available to Root TV by the Make a Difference Initiative 
claimed that the only time any member of the family visited the scene of incident was in the company of the police at Pante and Ikechuku to conduct a forensic, file a fire report and take some of the children's clothing. Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer Ben Udeyin and Ikechuku Obuna could not be reached for comments.